James Bond and Indiana Jones fighting aliens in the West. Honestly, who doesn't want to see that? How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the film review, episode number 25. And the film I'm going to be reviewing for you guys today is Cowboys and Aliens. Now, Cowboys and Aliens is directed by Jon Favreau, who previously directed Elf, Sephira, and the two Iron Man movies. And it stars Daniel Craig, Harrison Ford, Olivia Wilde, Sam Rockwell, Paul Dano, and Adam Beach. Now, basically, the story centers around Jake Lonergan, who's an outlaw who wakes up in the desert with no memory and a metal bracelet around his waist. And he's taken into the town of Absolution where he's set to be brought to justice by Colonel Dollarhide when aliens start to attack the town and abduct several of his citizens. And the rest of the film involves tracking them down and rescuing them from the aliens. Going into Cowboys and Aliens, you should know exactly what you're getting into just based on the title alone. I mean, it's probably something that's not looking to win a ton of Oscars. But honestly, this film is a lot of fun. Overall, I think the performances are really good here. Daniel Craig does a great job as Lonergan, and he embodies the grit and the toughness of the classic Man With No Name character. Harrison Ford also gives one of his most entertaining performances in a while as Dollar Hyde. You know, he, he, in the beginning, he's a gruff, mean old man, but as the film goes on, Ford gives him more layers that makes him much more interesting and, and much more sympathetic. Olivia Wilde does a nice job here also as Ella, the mysterious woman with something to hide. And Sam Rockwell here provides some great comic relief as the doctor slash saloon keeper of Absolution. Visually, the film is very beautiful. The cinematography and the production design really captures the wide expanses of the West and really makes it the, feel very authentic and grounded, especially once the aliens come around. Speaking of which, I should mention that recently it feels like a lot of these aliens have been very misunderstood, gentle creatures, but I really dug the fact that here they're flat out evil. It was just a refreshing change of pace for once. John Favreau also does a great job directing these action sequences. What I really like about how he stages his action here is that even though it's cowboys and aliens fighting, he does, like I said before, ground it in reality, which makes it that much more exciting. Now, the movie was not perfect. I thought it dragged a little bit in the middle, and, and there's a twist in the middle of the film that doesn't quite work with whatever else came before it. Also, I wasn't that big a fan of the explanation for why the aliens were invading this town. It just didn't really make any sense whatsoever. Ultimately, I'm going to give Cowboys and Aliens 4 out of 5 stars. I had a really fun time watching this, and it's definitely worth checking out in theaters, because as a summer blockbuster, it really delivers. So that's it for this review. My next review will probably be on Wednesday, because I'm going to an early screening of the movie 50-50 with Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Seth Rogen, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, and I will see you on the other side.